Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the first grade concept of how we can compose a tin or make a tin with two or more add-ins and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So we are going to spend five minutes today talking about the number 10 because the number 10 is extremely important. We use the number 10 for our place value system. So every time we get 10 of one place value, we go to the next place value. So 10 ones make a 10, 10 tens make a 100, 10 hundreds make a 1,000, so on and so forth. So we need to get really good with coming up with 10 in our brain. So we've got 10 here, and we just want to look at different ways that we can make 10. So I want to I'll use the picture here so we can visually see that if I wanted to, I could draw these two big long ovals, and I can make 10 with five and five. Another way to make 10 is instead of going side to side, what if we wanted to go up and down? So you see we've got these sets of twos here. So really I've got five sets of twos. So two plus two plus two plus two plus two. Plus two. So when we think of skip counting by twos, we say two, four, six, eight, ten. But what are some different ways to make 10? Well, so far we have made 10 using equal groups, like two groups of five or five groups of two. But they don't always have to be equal. So if I were to draw this right here, you would see that in my top box I have six. Outside of that box, I've got four. So six plus four makes 10. And if we want, we can always flip that around and we can say four plus six makes 10. So there are lots of different ways to make 10, but let's see if we can make it a little bit more of a challenge. I wanna see if you can help me make 10. And my first add end is going to be three. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mark these three out right here with my little square. And so we're gonna say three plus but I want you to see if you can come up with two more add-ins. I'm going to put little lines there. Two more add-ins to make 10. So I'll give you a few minutes to think. Go ahead and pause the video. When you have your answer, you can unpause the video and we'll check your work. Well, hopefully you thought of something and there's many different answers for this actually. So if you were going to say 3 plus, well, that's going to leave you with 7. So really what I'm doing is I am taking my 7, and I'm going to split that up into two different add-ins. So there's many ways to do that. If I wanted to, I could make 3 plus 1. That'd give me 4, which leaves me 6 left. So I can say 3 plus 1 plus 6. That would make 10. If I wanted to... I could also change this first add-in instead of 3 plus 1. You might have said 3 plus 2. So if I do 3 plus 2, that's going to give me 5, which means there are 5 left on the outside. And hopefully you see the pattern here. Instead of 3 plus 1 or 3 plus 2, you could say 3 plus 3. So 3 plus 3 makes 6, which leaves you an extra 1, 2, 3, 4 on the outside. I'm going to continue over here because I'm starting to run out of room. So instead of 3 plus 1 or 3 plus 2 or 3 plus 3, we could have done 3 plus 4. So 3 plus 4 makes 7, and as you can see, we only have 3 left. So it's 3 plus 4 plus 3 which is the same as this one right here. I just kind of rearranged the add-ins. They both have two threes and a four. So three plus one, three plus two, three plus three, three plus four. You know what's coming next is three plus five. That's going to leave me two. And you notice how this is the same as this one. And then we've got three plus six is our last one. These are all the different ways that we can use to make 10. 